So I'm back again. I am here today to film my February favorites. I think I have a pretty good selection here. So let's chit chat. If you would like to see what my favorites are for the month of February, please keep watching. All right, we're gonna roll up my sleeves here and we're gonna get going. So this product I absolutely love is done wonders thus far and I am talking about the sugar bear hair vitamins this is what it looks like they are very good vegetarian gummies comes with 60 so it's a 30-day supply you take two a day they taste good they absolutely work cuz I am NOT a girl that has nails um, but my nails are growing my hair is growing I have currently crochet braids so you really can't tell on camera but I can definitely tell myself that my hair is growing so I 100% believe in this product I am on bottle two yeah so me personally I think you should try them I mean you don't really have anything to lose in my opinion but yeah sugar bear hair I definitely would recommend we're going to start with concealers I have quite a bit of concealers because me personally I like to try different ones on the daily and these were new to me so I definitely wanted to try them um, the first set of concealers is from Makeup Revolution and they're here. They're like seven bucks at Ulta. I got one to highlight underneath my eyes and the rest of places on my face. And then of course I had to get one to contour. Let me get my little wipe ready. The one that I use for contouring is C15 and it comes with the doe foot applicator. And it doesn't take a lot. Me, I find that it's very hydrating to my skin because um, I am combination, I believe, now. And I feel like this is a great concealer. It's perfect coverage. It blends out smoothly. So yeah, that's one of my favorites. And again, this is C15 with Makeup Revolution. My con... My... What am I trying to say my concealer to highlight is in the color C12 and it's the same as I explained with the contour shade so nothing's different except the color but I highly recommend these concealers make a revolution I mean I've only tried their foundation which I'll talk about in just a moment and then their concealer and then I have another product that I will also mention the next brand is from Milani I didn't get a contour shade with Milani but I did pick up a highlighting shade and this is in the color first of all it's Milani conceal and perfect it's the concealer version of the foundation and I am in the number 160, which is warm tan. And this is what it looks like, the applicator. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's light outside, so I'm filming a little earlier. This one is the same, I would think, far as hydration underneath my eyes. Um, as the Revolution Makeup Revolution, um, but I definitely wanted to try this, and I really do like it. Next is going to be the Morphe. I picked these up. One is my kind of close to my skin tone, and then one is for highlighting. The one for my skin tone I use with my LA Girl to color correct. So. This is what it looks like. This is my skin tone or close to it. Really pretty. 
This one's more matte. Uh, matter of fact, I think it's super matte. May um, others may you know may not think so, but me personally, I feel like this is way matte than my other concealers that I've mentioned. But yeah, it's still a nice concealer, but it's freaking super matte. And I think this was nine dollars um, at Ulta. And this is the highlighting shade. Did I mention what color? Oh, no, I did not. For my skin tone is C4.35. So it's by numbers, it doesn't have a name. This is for highlighting purposes. This is the C3.55. That's what it looks like. Really pretty. Matte, but pretty. That is it for concealers. Um, so yeah, if you want to stop by Ulta and you need some new concealers, those are the ones that I recommend. All right, moving on. I am talking about the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. This product has changed my life as far as drugstore. I didn't know that I was gonna fall in love with this particular foundation. Why, I'm not really sure, because not a lot of people talked about it that I can remember. Um, man, this is like holy grail for me for drugstore is full coverage and it just blends out it's just smooth it's so pretty on the skin i get a lot of compliments on this bad boy so if you're looking for a new foundation and it's matte oh, it's so pretty i am in the color f13 beautiful also wanted to try the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation, and I'm also in the color F13. And this is what it looks like. This is like a more creamy. It gives me more hydration as far as my skin, but it's equally as good as this one. So if you if you like stick foundations, I totally recommend the makeup revolution and all these products that I've mentioned is very inexpensive it's literally drugstore all right next I'm talking about the LA girl or the LA colors conceal it cover and correct concealer I use this to get rid of my dark circles underneath my eyes. This is a must in my routine. It doesn't matter if I'm doing full coverage, beat to the gods, or I'm doing just an easy makeup look, which is very rare because I like a full beat. But this is a must have. And it comes with a little brush and I'm in the color obviously orange and it's amazing. Like if you are tired and you need to get rid of some bags, try this. And you can find that at your local beauty supply store. You can probably find it at Ulta or some Walmarts, not really sure, but I got mine at, actually I got it at the grocery store. So yeah, you can try there too. Makeup Revolution has a baking oil, which is a hydrate and prep for flawless makeup application. Honestly, I really do like this product. It's like a little drip and you just put it on your face. It adds moisture back to your skin. It's a must um, in my makeup routine. Sometimes I even put this on after the shower just to bring moisture back to my skin but this has become a daily must have in my routine. I remember 
when I hated this product when I first got it I didn't give it a chance I guess because this is the best like eyebrow pencil ever I thought Anastasia Beverly Hills was good the brow Wiz. this is even better this is the benefit goof proof brow pencil and I'm in the color 4.5 I used it today on my brows but it's just so just so smooth like it's easy to use and it comes with the little spoolie like this is a must-have and speaking of I wanted to try like a cheaper alternative so I wanted to try the wet n wild um, ultimate brow micro uh, brow pencil and I don't know what color this is um, it's either dark brown or brunette it doesn't have a label on it but this is going to be my March favorite because this is really good too to be so cheap yeah I need this in my life permanently it's always good to have a cheaper version of everything and that's what it looks like it's so easy it's skinny it's easy to apply on your brows I have nothing negative to say but back to this yeah this is this is awesome my favorite mascara is from Jordana I used to use this years ago I picked up another one um, it's the best lash extreme mascara and it just lengthens my eye eyelashes and I use it on my bottom lashes it's just a really great um, mascara yeah and it's not too watery it's just perfect so if you're looking for a new mascara pick this one up I got mine at Walgreens back to brows I'm in love with the Maybelline brow precise fiber volu voluminizer <laughs> yeah didn't say that very well but it's in the color dark brown and this is what it looks like I've talked about this in the past but it's just a little comb and you just you know brush your brows with it and it keeps them in place all day and you can pick that up at any drugstore my favorite eyeliner is from Tarte it's the Tartist it's the dual ended this is in black it comes with a uh, felt tip pen super black and then it comes with a pencil which I don't really use that often which I don't know why and I just broke it Wow anywho that's what it looks like and it dries very matte it doesn't have a gloss to it and I have it on today I really do have it on but I'm being a little dramatic I love the Rimmel ink me stamp tattoo this is like my signature I wear this to work I love it it's in stars this is what it looks like just stamp my face sometimes I use one sometimes I use two it just depends on my mood but I just feel like it brings a little oomph to the look you know If I don't want to use a pen for as eyeliner, I've been loving the Dose of Colors Cream Matte Eye Color, and the color name is Shady. And this is what it looks like. It's like a cream gel eyeliner. Super black, very pigmented. It glides on very smooth. And yeah, I lied. I did not use this today the hell I use this sorry guys so there you go but yeah this is really good it doesn't take a lot very very worth the price and you can find that at either Ulta or online at Dose of Colors 
my favorite glitter eyeliner has been the Urban Decay Heavy Metal in the color Fyro or Faro. Fyro. And I have it on my eyes today. It's the glitter littleness in my eyes. It's very simple. Comes with a little brush. And you just glide it on. Super easy. And you can just add a little something extra to your look to make you look more glam. My favorite lip gloss is from Dosa Colors. And the color is the most is from the Desi and Katie collection. I have it on my lips currently. I have so many backups of this. If you hear kids in the background, they're outside playing because it's so pretty in Texas today. Um, so yeah, they're outside playing. My favorite makeup sponges, they're dirty, but I used them this morning is from elf i think this was like three or four dollars it's the perfect sponge and i use it to blend out my concealer my foundation i use this one from equate and i got this at walgreens and i just uh, blend out my contour really good sponges not too hard it's very bouncy and it blends out perfect my favorite makeup wipes are from pure and gentle i picked them up picked them up at walmart and this is what they look like they cost like 98 cents and they work they don't irritate my eyes they take off my makeup very well and they're cheap so if you're looking for new inexpensive wipes try these This has become a favorite of mine, or it's been a favorite of mine for a while now to the point to where it's um, hitting pan. And I've mentioned this one before too. This is the Black Radiance Contour Palette. I love this, it's inexpensive. You can pick this up at Walmart or Walgreens, wherever they sell Black Radiance, but it blends out um, perfectly on my skin. It gives me a little extra, um, I don't know. I don't look as flat. Cause you know when you wear a foundation, you can little you can look a little flat so it brings dimension back to your face. And you just bronze with this. And contour. My favorite eyeshadow is from a palette that I picked out. I picked the colors out and most of them are from Makeup Geek, but my favorite eyeshadow is Coco Bear. And everyone is sleeping on Makeup Geek. I remember when I first started watching YouTube, Makeup Geek was all that everybody talked about. Now everybody's sleeping on them. And I don't know why, because they're awesome and they're a Target too. But this is what it looks like. It's like a reddish brown color. It blends out very well. I use it as a transition color. But yeah, it's very pigmented. It's it's pretty. I mean, I like it. So, I think you should check out Makeup Geek. I mean, their, their products are bomb. I mean, I got most of their colors are from Makeup Geek. These blushes are from Makeup Geek. I think they're bomb. Another blush that I've been liking since I just mentioned some is from Wet n Wild. It's the Mellow Wine blush. It's so pretty. Just give you a little rosy cheeks. Really pretty, smooth, it blends out. It's not too drying on the skin. But yeah, that's what it looks like. You really can't see it, I'm sorry. But yeah, gives you a little extra rosiness to your cheeks. Sometimes you need a little color, you know? My favorite powder is from Huda Beauty, and the color is Banana Bread. It's their baking and setting powder. I use this to set underneath my eyes and set my whole face. But yeah, and this stuff smells amazing. Like, if it 
wasn't bad to sniff this all day because you probably end up with a headache. Like, it smells so good. So, yeah. <laughs> Our favorite powder. Now, on to highlighters. This is from Sleek Cosmetics. Really, really pretty. These are some really good highlighters. I picked this up during the Christmas sale at Walgreens. And I don't know the name of the colors, but it's the rose gold and the gold color out of the palette. And this is both of them. Very pigmented. Oh, it's so pretty and it blends out amazingly. So if you're looking for some highlighters, um, I recommend Sleek Cosmetics. Speaking of some more highlighters, I don't understand where I'm getting all this black. This eyeshadow. How did I get that on me? Oh, I'm glad I noticed. Wow. I got this everywhere. Interesting. Anyways. This is from Wet n Wild. It's their highlighting palette. These are some pretty colors. I think I spent like 15 bucks on this. Maybe even $7.50 because I think it was on sale. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. And these two right here are my favorite. The gold and rose gold. And I'll go ahead and swatch them. Look how pretty that is. Got that, very pigmented. Definitely got a backup of that. And then this product is no longer for sale, I'm sorry, but this is a favorites video and this has been my favorite. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And this is what it looks like. I'm trying not to use this as often, but I have been in it the last month. My favorite color is Glow Getter, Kitty Cat, Forever Young, and Daydream. So I will swatch this one, this one, and this one. I got all these highlighters on. Let's see. And this is what they look like. They all kind of mimic each other, but they're all different price points. So, yeah. My, I love highlighting. It's one of my favorite things to do, as you can probably tell on my face, but you can never have enough glow. My next product is from Morphe. It's the Continuous Setting Spray. This is what it looks like. This is like hairspray for your face. It just comes out like hairspray. It's refreshing. Ugh, love it, smells good too. And then I love the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray as well. Yeah, I picked these up at Ulta. So if you're looking for a good setting spray, I'm all about setting sprays. I highly recommend those. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out if there's any more makeup products that I forgot to mention. And I think I mentioned everything, people. Hmm. That didn't take as long as I thought it would, which is awesome. All right, so on to my favorite snack of the month. <sighs> I didn't used to like these, but for some reason I've grown to love Twizzlers. And yeah, I can eat these and eat these. Matter of fact, I want one now. So let's just eat Twizzlers together. And my favorite is strawberry. They're like delicious how could you not like twizzlers they're just an easy snack you just eat them mm. so good 
yeah try not to snack but yeah I have no more products to offer my thoughts on so I enjoy filming this this video is dedicated to sunshine um, she really enjoys watching my favorites which I really do appreciate it thank you for the support as always yeah so with that being said I guess it's time to say goodbye don't forget let me stop doing this don't forget to rate comment and subscribe go ahead and hit that notification button let everybody know that um you enjoyed this video tell your friends to tell their friends to visit gorgeous brown eyes and let them know what's happening over here yeah great things to come 2019 is gonna be a great year oh and today is women's empowerment day so happy women's day international women's day yeah what else Hmm. Oh yeah, don't forget to um, hit that like button. Mention that again. All right, let me stop just talking out of my ass and actually go do something. If you have any suggestions for my next video, leave it in the comments below or just say hi. Talk to you later, bye. I never know what to say as an outro or intro. I don't know. It's Friday and I got shit to do. So I need to stop sitting here and acting like I don't have nothing to do because I could be doing something like cooking dinner. Tonight I'm eating tacos. I think the last time I filmed a video, I was eating tacos. I love tacos. It's Taco Friday in this household.